What's up guys, Vern here, Poggy Boy Productions. As you can see, it's just me today. I'm gonna unbox something, I'm so excited. This has been in the works for a while. I mean, I pre-ordered this last year and you're probably seeing it all over YouTube, people unboxing and playing with it. Finally got mine. I was in the second quarter. So between April and June, I got this sometime last week. So yeah, I'm super excited. I could have called Henner, tell him to come over, but couldn't wait. <laughs> Like a little kid in a toy story, right? So we're gonna unbox this. You probably already know what's inside. So keep watching. All right, let's go. I'm gonna open this. Um, for those of you who already know, this is actually uh, similar to the Nintendo Switch, but better. It's like a mini portable computer in the palm of your hand which is a good thing because right now the only competition is the Nintendo Switch. Let me just, all right, I got this open. Oh, I like how the box is. Got a bunch of languages all over the box. And um, attention, okay, just, uh, some instructions on what to do I guess in the back you got a picture of the Steam Deck pretty cool so far here's a box piece of cardboard I'm gonna open what's inside the box straight from Valve if you didn't know this Valve created the Steam Deck oh man I'm super excited can't believe it alright so yeah this is just uh, your charger. Comes in a brick. It's not detachable. It's a Type C. I have several of these, so it's always good to have more. This will be perfect for this to charge on the go. And inside is, of course, the instruction manual. Yep. And finally, here's the pride and jewel inside, the Steam Deck. Look at that. Feels nice and uh, not too heavy in my hands. Your games are going places, so kind of tells you what it is, right? All right, let's open this. I don't think I need the scissors. Bag out of the way. Let me just get this stuff out of here. So. Like you peel it out of here. Let's peel this cardboard out of here. Well, hold on, it didn't work. I'm just gonna rip it. <laughs> so yeah, here's the case. It's nice. Um, durable. Got a nice handle here. Carried around. Um, there's something in the back, I guess. Uh, not sure what that is. We'll get to it later. Got the zipper, you got the valve logo here. I'm gonna open it. Oh, hold on. Yep. It's locked. I'm just gonna cut it. Here we go. And what's inside? Look at that wow I am impressed this is the steam deck straight from valve now I got the 256 gigabyte version this is the middle tier and then you of course you have the basic tier which is the 165 gigs I, I believe and then you get the higher end which is the more expensive one which is uh, 500 something gigs. I forget. I'll leave the information up there. I got the 256, the middle. Um, so for those of you who are still waiting for your Steam Deck, it's coming to you guys. Check the website to see where you are on the list of people receiving. I got this. I ordered this actually the second day 
that pre-orders came on or maybe a few hours after it was hard to get it I guess they did it this way so there won't be a lot of scam you know a lot of people like picking this up and selling it for super high prices you know the scalpers so in a way they prevented it that way by going in a queue and yada yada and then like I got this in the second quarter I think my brothers are getting it next quarter the third quarter so excited um so if you're still waiting for it just keep hope alive yours is coming this is exciting we're gonna i'm probably gonna have to uh charge this first before i play it uh, first impression it's pretty good in the hands nice screen real estate here i'm gonna compare it to the nintendo switch size so this is gonna be competition for my nintendo switch i've been playing that for a lot so i'm going to probably uh get nintendo games to play on here <laughs> you could probably also mod it like put windows on there or change things around if you want to play some old school games add roms there's a whole bunch of things that you can do with this but anyway for now i'm going to charge this first then we'll uh test some games see how it goes download play it looking forward to this so keep watching guys so guys just wanted to give you a closer look at the steam deck here so you got your track pads on the left and the right the steam button right here sorry it's a little blurry there you go um this is more like uh not sure <laughs> and then you got more buttons up here i think these are this is the page button and uh i think this is like the pause menu and you get to select different options you got your y x a b your joy pads your um little controls here right left up down in the back and you get your l2 r2 triggers this is your volume you could put uh headphones i guess here this will probably wear the fans the heat dissipates so it's probably gonna get hot up here there's your type c it's on top that's where you charge it for your to um charge your steam deck it's the power button more buttons on the back that's cool too so there's plenty of buttons to go around the steam deck and more um vents i guess for to dissipate the heat so yeah that's a steam deck looks pretty cool from up close and this is the case close closer look for you guys not bad right and i figured out that this since if you want to make this an all-around carrying case there is no room for this inside but from what I've seen from YouTube and from other people, you can actually just place it in there. See? So, pretty cool, right? Alright, let's play with the steam. The mass lunatic you saw there claims to represent an organization called The Order. Now, this group has claimed responsibility for several serious attacks in recent weeks. He is undoubtedly a traitor and a terrorist. And I, for one, am not for the death penalty. So, one way to do it. Illegally shoot the son of a bitch. This is Bob Barbas, just doing that. Sergeant, get out of there, you're in danger. Who are you? What do you want? You were careless. You left a trail. Now he's on to you. What are you talking about? Who's on to me? Behind your demon. Look. He's here. He's dragging you into limbo.
fire at students.
fire's moving fast. <sighs> Step back. We can bust out with this. Let me back up again. The fire. There isn't any time. So what do you guys think? Now, I didn't film this on the same day. I actually waited till the next one or two days. I ordered myself a one terabyte memory card because all these games eats up a lot of memory. And if you're going to use the memory from your Steam Deck, well, maybe, yeah, maybe depending on which version of the Steam Deck you got and how much memory you got left. I think if we got that, I got the 512 gigabytes, so maybe there is maybe 400 or something like that with uh, memory left that you could use for games. And a lot of games nowadays take up a lot of space, so I waited for the memory card. So that's why I filmed this after. And uh, yeah, I was able to download more games. And as you can see, I played several of them. Now, bear in mind that these are straight out of the box. I didn't like mess around with the settings. Like I didn't do the frame rates or maybe make the graphics medium quality instead of higher quality, lower quality. You could do that with this. But for what I want to show you, this is a powerhouse of a machine. It runs everything straight out of the box. And Valve is doing a lot of testing with a lot of games, like several of the games, like I think Street Fighter was uh, untested or unplayable, but you could you'd see it still runs pretty well. Um, and some games are still being like, like I said, Valve is still testing them. So what I can say is, you know, if you have a game that you want to try, you could always try it here. There are ways to play the game, like several of the games need like keyboard or a mouse to actually get to work. There's a way you could actually pull up the keyboard on the screen. I just wanted to add that if you think I suck playing those games, well, you're right. I have not touched those games in a while, so I'm a little rusty and I have not, you know, given my full focus and attention in learning the controls, except for Street Fighter. I still remember those moves. So yeah, that's the Steam Deck. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope, you know, I hope you guys do eventually get it, support Valve. I know there are other like gaming handhelds made by Chinese companies out there. I think Aya or Neo are a couple of them. I was going to give them a try. I waited for the Valve and, you know, I finally got it. So, yeah, I think this is worth the wait. This is going to get a lot of playtime for me and I have a lot of Steam games. I started actually downloading more because of the Steam Summer sale. So my backlog of games even got bigger but I feel like I'll be playing it a lot more now with this here and I might be neglecting my Nintendo Switch so <laughs> but yeah this is definitely worth it this like the joy in my face it's like me getting the Game Boy for the first time or the PSP Vita or even a Nintendo Switch you know I'm glad there's other handhelds out there in the market so yeah if you get your hands on it I would recommend it for sure so Anyway, you guys, if you like that video, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that red button down below. Ring the bell so you get notified of all our future videos. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> See you guys.